My name is Claire de Souza. I'm working as a lecturer for the Department of Food Nutrition and Dietetics at Milagros College, Mangalore. Today I will be talking on nutritional requirements for adults. So that's the chapter's name. But we will be looking at uh, the definition of adults, what is adulthood, what are the characteristics of adulthood, and reference man and woman. So this is an image of uh, life cycle, as you can see. So it begins at birth for any individual, and then it's uh, covering the infancy period, which will also include your toddler period, one to three years. Then you have your childhood, wherein uh, we can include your school-going preschoolers, and uh, moves on to your adolescence. Adolescence, we have uh, teenagers who have undergone the period of puberty and they are preparing themselves for the upcoming challenges of adulthood. Followed by adulthood, this is the longest period I would like to say. During this period, for male and females, the things happen differently. When we are talking about adulthood, man has to more concentrate on uh, his status in the society, whereas women will have chances of being pregnant and lactation. So there is a diversion when it comes to man and woman. Then again, it uh, moves on to your old age, but the cycle continues. Pregnancy, a pregnant woman again will give birth, and the life cycle of that life or that human starts. So what is aging? Looking at the previous picture, we can conclude saying that aging is a gradual process that reflects the influence of genetics, lifestyle, and environment over the course of life. Now, why? Genetics plays an important role. The hereditary characteristics are determined. What are the characteristics we get in ourselves? It depends on our father and mother to a larger extent. Coming to the lifestyle, what kind of lifestyle are we leading? Sedentary? Is it like a moderate work or a heavy worker? Are we indulged totally in work? What kind of work are we indulged in? Environment. Adulthood, if we have to talk about the proper definition of adulthood, it marks the longest period between active growth and development when we compare it to infancy, childhood and adolescence or older adult phase, where the concern is sustaining the physical and mental capacity. Here, when the person is called as an adult, it means that maturation of all the organs have taken place. The organs are at their peak capacity in working. Okay? What we have to see to that is they are functioning properly. Just like how we have to check for our uh, car's engine on time to time. In the same way, adults have to keep track whether their organs are functioning properly, what kind of diet they have to take in, what kind of lifestyle they have to lead. So adulthood can be divided into the following segments. These are the segments, uh, early years, middle years, older years, and the oldest years. So early adulthood will uh, it will come from 20s to 30s, that's the age time span. Then middle adulthood can be considered from their 40s to 50s, older adults from 60s to 70s, and oldest adults from 80s to 90s. So the word adult is derived from the Latin word adults, that means fully grown to size and matured. Okay. So adults are individuals who have complete their who have completed their growth and are ready to assume their stasis in the society. So you can say that uh, this can vary from culture to culture, longest period, and interest in material. These are the three points you have to remember when we are talking about adulthood. Okay, why culture to culture? Each culture has their own limit wherein they will represent adulthood. So state of health at any age is influenced by what is eaten. One cannot have the best health unless one eats wisely. Maintenance and repair is the theme of nutrition for adults. Okay, so here we are not concentrating on uh, any kind of specifications, like we have to provide nutrients required for growth, or we have to provide nutrients for uh, any kind of other aspects in the body, any kind of uh, ill effects. No, we are only saying to that these ill effects will not take place or will not occur in the individual. So the main theme or uh, main concept of adult nutrition is that maintaining and repair. Since the adult organs have already matured and they are properly functioning, we just have to keep them in check. 
child grows taller as he matures, adult lose their stature. So, mechanism of aging is the decline in the number of cells along with the changes within the cells that will damage the cellular organelles and change the basic genetic material that will affect the cell replication. So, coming to the importance of nutrition for this age group, uh, why nutrition is important? Again, it uh, as we have discussed the nutrition theme, that is nothing but maintenance and repair of the body tissues. To see to that all the organs are functioning properly, the nutrients are provided in such a way that they will be utilized completely for maintaining the body tissues. So, what kind of the lifestyle the person is leading, is he into smoking, too much alcoholism or chronic alcoholism, what is the body weight, is he towards obese or uh, overweight and moving towards obesity, all these points have to be taken into consideration if you are going to. Uh, talk about nutrition of an adult because based on that we can rectify the types and the ways they are living. So, during the 40s is the time where the body will start declining its activity, that is when we have to give more importance to physical activity. Okay. So, during the 40s lifestyle choose, uh, choices interact with the genetic endowments, social forces and environmental factors to determine years of life and the quality of life. The onset and severity of uh, 5 of the 10 leading causes of death, which are nothing but cancer, heart diseases, stroke, diabetes and hypertension. These are all also known as your lifestyle disorders. Okay? The type of uh, living they are having will push the adults to a risk of these kinds of diseases. So, characteristic, it is known to be a period of adjustment, new partners for life, new social expectations. They are uh, what do we say? They are expected to behave in a particular manner, to take responsibilities for their actions. New roles to play, it can be as fathers or mothers. Development of new attitudes, interests and values. So, they will get that uh, vigor wherein they can order things to happen. Difficult period of life because they have to look after their own expenses, settling down age, carefree, freedom attitude. So, early adulthood, uh, some of the characteristics we have to see, period of emotional tension, a lot will be going on in their life, they have to settle in life, earn their own money, get married, settle down with the per, uh, person, period of social isolation, friends will go fewer and fewer in number, time of commitments, often a period of dependency, time of, of value ch change, adjustment to new lifestyles, creative age, change in interest change in social perceptions and adjustments. So, characteristics of uh, middle adulthood, here the person has already settled down, now he has to look after his family, he has to uh, keep the responsibilities, he's all, maybe he is a father or a mother, better owner of the family, look after his uh, aging parents. So, the same thing is mentioned here, time of transition, time of stress, awkward age, body is functioning, is declining, has to take care of himself. Okay, uh, change in appearance, change in sensory ability, psychological functioning will change or decline. Late adulthood, again this is like something like a closing period, period of decline, individual difference will be different, like aging effects differently in each person, role change, poor adjustment has characteristic, role change we can say that from father to a grandfather, something like that, change in appearance, psychological change, mental decline, interest in self social disengagement, religious interest, too much into prayer, waiting for death. Now, the last topic that is reference man and reference woman. So, who is a reference man? Why reference man is important? In order to assume that the RDA for a man, adult man is so much, we have to look at the reference man. So, reference man will give a clear picture of the RDA that has to be followed by an adult man. So, reference man is someone who is between 18 to 29 years of age, weighing 60 kgs, with a height of 1.73 meters, BMI of 20.3 and free from any kind of diseases. He is physically fit for active work and on each working day he is engaged for 8 hours in uh, work, which involves moderate activity, 8 hours in bed, 4 to 6 hours in sitting and moving, 2 hours in walking and in active recreational activities or household works. A reference woman, again the definition is the same, she is someone who is 18 to 29 years of age, who is non-pregnant 
and non-lactating because during that period there will be increase in the nutrient requirement or the RDA requirement and weighs 55 kgs whereas in uh, reference man it was 60 kgs. So with a height of 1.61 meters with BMI 21.2 and free from diseases again the further consideration is same as that of a man active for work and 8 hours in occupation and uh, 8 hours in bed, 4 to 6 hours sitting, moving around 2 hours walking and active recreational or household duties. So classification of activities based on occupation, we have uh, 3 different activities which is sedentary, moderate and heavy workers. So sedentary will not engage in too much of hard work, moderate and then you have a heavy worker who is totally involved in work. So sedentary it can be a male or a female and examples are given for each of them. Sedentary work can be considered as a teacher, tailor, barber, executive, peon, postman, retired personnel, priest. Okay, whereas females again the same can be applied here. Moderate fisherman, basket maker, potter, goldsmith, agricultural labor. Then in case of females, housewife is considered to be a moderate worker. Nurse, servant, maid, coolie, heavy workers, stone cutters, mine workers, wood cutters, blacksmiths. In case of women, again, it's the same. So, with this, we will finish off with today's talk. Thank you, everyone.